Hey YouTube, how's it going out there? So today I'm going to attempt something that I probably should have tried before making this video, but basically as you see on your screen, how to root the HTC EVO 4G LTE. This method was developed by Brett from the Droid Demos in conjunction with a developer Regal and Odd. They worked together to come up with this mod. And what this does is it unlocks your bootloader on your EVO, which will allow you to flash custom ROMs and it roots your phone, which will allow you to run apps that require root. This is kind of a two for one deal and I've not done this before on my phone. I don't have any of the files installed yet. You're going to see from start to finish everything that I do and the end result is a rooted and unlocked phone. So here's the site. I'll put a link in the description down below. I'm going to go through every one of these instructions on camera. Like I said, I've never done any of these before. Cross your fingers and let's get started. So step one is download net 4.0 and HTC drivers, which are these two right here. And again, the links to these are in that article. Instruction says do one at a time. So we'll go ahead and start with the .NET. Just double click that. Yes, I want to continue. So you see it's extracting files. Install. And for things like this that take a while, I'll probably speed the video up. .NET is installed, and that took just about 12 minutes. So I'll go ahead and click finish. So next is HTC drivers, double click on that. For some reason, the drivers did not install until I plugged my phone in. Um, this little dialog popped up. So you see here, Android USB devices, my HTC. That means we have drivers installed now. So I'm going to go ahead and move forward with this, and hopefully that doesn't cause me any issues. You can see here's my phone. Instructions say, uh, if you've used Google Wallet before, then you need to go to the settings in Google Wallet and reset them. Uh, I've never gotten Google Wallet to work on this, so I don't have to do that. But anyways, now that we are plugged up to the computer, I'm going to go into settings. So, settings, and then developer options. And then we're going to check off USB debugging. And then we're going to say OK. So you see we got the confirmation up top that debugging has been turned on. So I'll go back to the home screen. And now you're going to download the Regal Mod app. You can see here I have the X64 version because I have a 64-bit operating system. But if you have a 32-bit operating system, you'll want the 32-bit version. Uh, if you don't know how to check that, it's really easy. Just right-click on my computer and go to Properties. And right here, System Type 64-bit. So I'm going to double-click this. Hit Run. And the instructions say plug in your phone now. Mine's already plugged in because that's how I got the drivers. So the next step says, on the screen that pops up, click Root Me. So we're going to click Root Me. And then we're going to click yes to continue. Uh, one of the things to I should mention before I go through with, go forward with this is make sure your battery is fully charged because I guess the trickle charge that it gets from the USB uh, might not be sufficient. So just as a precaution, make sure your battery is fully charged. So we're going to go ahead and click yes. And as he says in step seven, the phone will reboot. Click OK for dev automation, HCC dev automation, so whenever that comes back up. And you can see my phone has booted back up, and it says locked at the top. Okay, please wait while HCC dev automated and submits your token. says after completing the HEC dev process the screen will show up 
Assuming you have not already unlocked your boot loader. So we are waiting for our unlock code. Alright, so this is the screen that we see on our phone as well. And basically at this point, if you move forward, it's going to completely wipe your phone. And it's going to void your warranty with HTC. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and select PS, use the volume button, go up. And you can see I've selected yes. And then use the power button to select yes on the phone. Pressing the power button. And we're rebooting again. So now we'll click continue on the computer. Because your phone is now rebooting after it is fully booted and you reach the home screen, go to settings, developer options, and check USB click. So I'm under the assumption that my phone has been completely wiped. And you see on the Regal mod window that it says bootloader has been unlocked. On the phone screen you see the animation that the phone is booting back up. So we'll let that finish booting up to the reboot. You can see the phone's coming back up. It has the stock background. And so it looks like it's finished booting up, so I'm going to go to the next step. So the next step is to go back into the settings and developer options. I'm just going to close out of that. Ooh. Pull this back down, go back in the settings, scroll back down to developer options, check on that, and then turn USB debugging back on. Okay. See a little message up top that says USB debugging has been connected, and the phone is shut down. You see on the, on the computer screen here, the Evo is rebooting again. So it's come up, and you see at the top, it now says unlocked. So I assume it is going to keep rebooting. He doesn't specify how many times it's going to reboot, but he does say it's going to reboot a few times. And he says, once you have booted into the actual phone, you'll also be rooted as well. So again, you see the uh, boot up animation going off again. So once it's done, we should get a message on our computer saying this process is complete. And then on the phone, I'll, I'll check for the Super SU app, which confirms that we do have root. Alright, so we've got a new message here in the router that says pushing root files. So it closed on its own, and my phone's rebooting again. And it looks like the phone is booting up normally. I don't have a locked screen. A way to unlock it, I should say. Let's see if I can. Turn it on and off. Still no lock ring. Let's try to run the router again. So we'll run. And hopefully the um, since the bootloader did say it was unlocked, hopefully this is a lot sooner. This runs a lot quicker, I mean. Let's try this again.
All right, so we see on the screen it's saying one thing, but the phone is in a different state. So let's try bootloader. I'll select that with the power button, and we'll do recovery. See this build is for all purposes only. Hopefully booting and a recovery will fix this. Okay, it looks like the phone has come up. Okay, so we're rebooting now. And again, that window came up on its own, so that's a good sign, I think. Okay, so it did work that time, so we'll click OK. And it says rebooting. So hopefully after this reboot, we should be back into our phone, and we can check to see if that super user, super U app is installed. Man, this is uh, kind of heart stopping, I'm not going to lie. Alright, and we do have the lock screen has come up. Now let's check. Hopefully, we can unlock the phone and check that Super U is on there. Let me unlock it. Got everything running smooth. So we'll go into the app drawer. And there it is right there Super U SU. Or Super SU, I'm sorry. So it looks like we're done, good to go, and our phone is rooted. This was a life-changing experience. So again, I want to say thanks to Brent, aka DJR3Z. I want to say thank you to Regal Lenad for working with Brent, and for both of them for creating this Regal mod um, executable. So hopefully this works out for you too. Um, as with any rooting method, this is do it at your own risk. I do not assume any responsibility for anything that may happen. And just as you saw me doing it here on camera for you, it didn't work perfectly the first time. So again, this is use at your own risk. If you are brave enough to try it, good luck. And hopefully you have the same positive outcome I did. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hopefully in the future you'll see some more exciting videos with uh, apps that require roots, with ROMs that let you do crazy things on your phone. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button up top. It helps me out and it keeps you informed when I'm going to make another video. But until next time, take care.